Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful I come before you today with all humility in my heart, asking that you may give me strength. May you give strength to each and every person under the sound of my voice. The Bible says if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger and bad feelings, resentment or any other wrong attitude before you. Now we lay at your feet and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. Purge my heart and remove all of the hate and malice that may be within me. Remove any wickedness from within me. This is not the time to entertain hidden sin of any kind. Stand with me, Holy Spirit, and help me in my weakness. Help me when I am weary. Revive the fire within me so that I will not be half-hearted with my prayer life. Father, in Jesus' name, there's no distance in the spirit, and we thank you, the listener, who desires a prayer for an impossible situation. You sit in heaven and laugh at your enemies. No one can defeat you, Lord. There is nothing impossible for you. You are a miracle-working God. Help me to be vigilant, because the enemy is out there like a roaring lion seeking whom he can devour. Press upon my heart, Holy Ghost, and convict me to never neglect my prayer life in Jesus' name. I pray that I may be guarded by your presence, Lord, so that I will not be consumed by my thoughts of fear, anxiety, or worry. Be with me, Lord, so that my faith may not be consumed by doubt and unbelief. O oh God, with you there is always a way. Hallelujah. You are the great choreographer. You can line up people in situations perfectly to bring about what you promise in your world. If we can but only believe right now, we ask you to teach the listener when to step aside so that you can step in to do what you can do. Help us to understand that we need to be waiting on you to renew our strength so that we can mount up with wings as eagles so that we can run and not be weary and walk and not faint. Holy Spirit, convict our minds, our hearts and our souls so that we may realize that this is a time for us to be seeking the Lord. We bind all fear, anxiety, worry, concern right now. Father, anything and everything, and cast it into your capable hands. Yes, help the listener to throw it all on you now, in Jesus' name. For you have asked them to, in your word, you care and love the listener more than they know. Father, help the listener to speak the right words over the situation. That seems impossible that they're facing to say those words with the right attitude and to speak them under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. 
To say what you would say about the situation, we ask in Jesus' name. I rebuke everything, every distraction or roadblock that tries to block our journey with God. I pray that I may be guarded by your presence, Lord, so that I may not be consumed by thoughts of fear, anxiety or worry. Be with me, Lord, so that my faith may not be consumed by doubt and unbelief. You, Lord Jesus, all the same yesterday, today and forever, thank you for your guidance. In Jesus' name, we please the blood of Jesus over the listener and the family. Thank you for your angels that guard them in Jesus' name. We bind your favour and peace upon them and the family and over the situation. We lift up every single need of the listener that they have and even those that they will need as they walk through this situation. And we call those needs met from the north, the south, the east, in the west. We call in their support and every divine connection they need in Jesus' name. We call upon your mighty power. Your word in Psalms says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and we call on you today, King Jesus. Be our help, be our safe place. Thank you for listening to this prayer. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Amen. I hope this prayer ministered to you. If it did, then share this beautiful prayer with your friends and loved ones and also subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you don't miss any prayer. God bless you.